Leo Lionheart Hartfield would trade all his powers, all the money, and fame he enjoys as one of the city's top superheroes for teammate Angela's love. As it is, he just channels his frustrations into autobiographical mini-comics about his feelings. But everything changes when Cassandra, an aspiring alternative cartoonist, gets to read them. Hey everybody, welcome to another exciting episode, another edition of A Week in Geekdom here on YouTube. I am your host, Giovanni Menendez, and we're back, folks, talking more comic books. I love doing indie stuff because I get to talk about something that not a lot of people have read. And so is the case with Falling for Lionheart. This is a very sweet, awesome comic book that if you are a fan of just the indie scene and you love stories about... Uh, you know, love at first sight and romance and with a little twist of super heroics then you are going to enjoy Falling for Lionheart. I am very happy to say that Falling for Lionheart is a rousing success. I do have some issues with it, but for the most part, this is pretty fantastic. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, Leo is this te uh, part of this uh, team of superheroes that clean up I I the city and take care of bad guys, and they're all dressed like they're going to go to a rugby session slash baseball weird outfits but all that aside it's like this super elite squad that uh, takes care of the city and they're like a super police force if you will. Our main character is in love with the character of Angela one of his teammates and he's a super shy guy and he's trying to win her over but cannot seem to do so. His friends harass him and give him a tough time because of it, but he tries his best regardless and ultimately he fails. And if you've ever been in that position, then you will understand why the character is sort of a shut-in and why he goes back into the wonderful world of comics. This is a very meta uh, love uh, romantic comedy, if you will, where the character is using comic books and comic strips specifically to express his feelings towards life, love, and everything else in between. So I thought that was actually pretty damn clever. You can see it at the back of the book, that style of comic that you see right there. That is Leo's artwork, uh, if you will. And the actual art is pretty damn awesome with great coloring and drawings by Elias Kiriatsis. I hope I said that right. I probably butchered that name, but yeah, it, it's fantastic. I love this. Uh, the plot is fairly uh, predictable, at least uh, halfway to the end. You sort of understand and know where the story's gonna go, and it sort of wraps itself up with a bow tie pretty quickly. And I don't know, I guess I wanted more. It was a very rushed but sweet and awesome ending. I would have liked some more uh, drama and a prolonged uh, third act, something, but it, it's over way too quickly. The charm in this is seeing a character draw a comic book within a comic book, you know? That's sort of the appeal to me. The characters are, for the most part, pretty relatable, aside from the whole superhero thing with superpowers and flying and fighting terrorists and whatnot. Uh, it just uh, great, uh, Leo is a fun character, he is very likable, people love him, and you get to go inside his head for a little bit and understand his frustrations and why he wants to hook up with Angela, but then meets this character, Cassandra, who likes his drawings and doesn't really know who he is, so they form a completely awesome relationship, and it just goes to show you, love can be anywhere and can strike uh, when you least expect it. I guess that's the main message of the book. I, I don't know. Don't be shallow and love everybody, because stuff will happen. Great art, fun story, a little underwhelming resolution, but overall, a really fun read, and if you're able to find this for cheap, I highly recommend it from IDW, Falling for Lionheart. Be warned, though, this is rated M for Mature, not probably because of dialogue reasons and naked people, that's it. Other than that, 
uh, yeah, it's a pretty fun read, lighthearted read. Uh, I think you'll enjoy it. Guys, you can follow me on your favorite social media platform from Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Just type a week in geekdom and I'm there for you guys. All right, we are continuing onward on our road to a thousand. I cannot wait. Thank you, everybody. You'd like, comment, and subscribe, and do all that awesome stuff that you know how to do. All right, I'm out. Thank you once again. I will catch you on our next video. Filing, filing.